But there's a particular type of uquq which has become a phenomenon. It is with those young men or men who are married, whom when they get married, the slot of the mother drops to second. And the queen rises on the top first rank, which is the wife, on account of the mother. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. How can you? How can you give preference to your wife over your mother and neglect her? When your mother's womb was the place of settling and comfort for you for nine months. Her breast was the source of food for you for two years. Her lap was your couch and your bed. Even after you reach puberty. How can you? When your, mother's, when your mother had many sleepless nights when you were ill. Tear. Tears over your health and situation and well-being never ceased. She gave you her life and now you neglect her. She becomes a second-class citizen for you. Did you forget her love to you? Did you forget that when she was told she's pregnant with you, she was so happy, flying in air. And when she saw you, regardless of how Many sleepless nights she's had. As soon as you smiled, she would forget everything. Did you forget when you grew up how she was teaching you and helping you with your homeworks? And when you became a young man and went out with your friends, she would, st she would stay up until you come back, unable to sleep. Until she saw you sound and safe. Did you forget all of this? How can your heart become so hard after all of this? How can you forget her status and rank? How can you forget her importance to you in your life? How can you forget the many times she always supplicated and supplicated and supplicated for you, with or without your request. How can you forget? What will you answer Allah Azza wa Jal when He asks you about her rights? What will you say to Allah Azza wa Jal when He asks you about your undutifulness to her? What would be your reaction? And what would be your response? The minute you get the news that your mother 